So I am in this town called Montrose, Colorado, and I um, have just discovered this little, um, I guess it's, it was a, it's a walkway, I guess it's also a bikeway. And uh, I'm really impressed. I mean, I just love it, you know, that cities have this, you know, so you have a chance to get out and I guess walk your dog or ride your bike, whatever the case may be. So you can see where I'm going here. I haven't quite figured out, there's, there's one little water thing here I'll have to show you later. I haven't figured out what that is yet, but um, anyway, it takes you under a bridge. And as you go under this bridge, it's, uh, it's a lot warmer under here. You know, like the temperature changes. Um, I'm sorry, it's warmer under here at night and it's cooler in the day. The trail, I have not been on this whole trail. It's pretty extensive, I think. But there are a lot, of, a lot of homeless people along this trail. I may run into some. If I, if I do, I'll record them. It's an off the beaten path trail, you know what I mean? Uh, see, uh, last night I saw some people like, you know, um, walking their dogs and then sometimes people, I saw one woman pushing a carriage, you know, a baby carriage. So, you know, it has its uses. It's a multi-use thing, you know. So I came down to my favorite spot. This is definitely um, the place I like to come to down here. And, you know, it has some paths and everything. And you can come down here and you can get right by the water. You can put your feet in the water if you want to. And I don't know if, I don't know if, um, you know, homeless people live down here or not. I mean, they very well could for all I know. Looks like somebody dropped a car down here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> I didn't even, oh yeah, there's the rest of it up there. I can't be going long because my bike's down there. That takes us to this spot right here. We can get right here on the rocks um, and look at the rushing water or we can go further down there. So, um, I'm actually not gonna go down there right now. I gotta go back and um, get my bike. Bike um, was very expensive, as you may have guessed. And I'm not leaving it down there for more than like three minutes. Now is the time that I have to check, because I walked through all those, you know, all that grass and those bushes and stuff, and I have this paranoid fear that, that I have these ticks on me. And every time I do that, like, I just feel like I, something's like crawling on me, you know? I felt like something was crawling on my back. I'm sure it's my imagination. Famous last words. You know, you really do uh, need to get out. Get out and enjoy the scenery, the outdoors. Um, I spent too much of my life uh, behind a computer screen and, you know, I had to, but um, so that's why I'm so adamant about every single day getting out and doing something, going somewhere, you know, traveling, uh, whatever, to, um, you know, make the, make the time worthwhile. You know, the summer's ending. You know, it's, it's the end of August. And so, especially here in Colorado, it'll start getting cold in the next month. So I want to get out and, you know, see the beautiful sky as you can see right now and um, ride around and just do everything I can. Tell me what you think about this spectacular view, the stuff I'm passing, the sky. Um, it's just awesome. Just, I just love it. I just cannot tell you how much I love it. <laughs> I am so glad I chose to come to Colorado. Uh, I had been wanting to come here for a few years. It's really, it's kind of odd to see a trail that goes, you know, begins in, the, in a town and then goes out into the country for miles and miles. I think it's neat 